this video we can see about how to construct the hyperbola a hyperbola here we are going to do it in the eccentricity method so the, now we can see the question construct a hyperbola when the distance between the focus and the directrix is 50 mm millimeter and eccentricity is 3 by 2 also draw the tangent and normal to any point on the curve in this question the distance between the directrix and the focus is given as 50 mm for example it is given as 50 mm so first to start we are going to draw with a directrix so the directrix i am just drawing a vertical line like this i am going to give the name so this is a and this is b again i am going to make a 90 degree line to draw the axis the axis is like this we need to fix it i am not using any drafter so i am using this if you are having drafter means directly you can use it so i am drawing the directrix so this is this point is c and this point is d as what we did in ellipse so now i am just going to mark the distance between directrices which one is directrices this line is directrix and we are going to find out the focus it is in 50 mm so this point we can say this is f so we got it now we can go for the calculation what is the calculation here so this e what is e eccentricity is here it is given in the question it has given as 3 by 2 the question it is given as 3 by 2 so which one is it is greater than 1 because the value of 3 by 2 is 1.5 it is meaning as one and half one and half means it is greater than always greater than 1 so it is we can say surely it is a hyperbola hyperbola so this is our concept so how we have to do it is so already we know it so what we do 3 plus 2 equal to 5 divisions so 50 divided by 5 equal to 10 each will be 10 divisions so we can mark it the 10 divisions are 1 2 3 4 and this this is 5 and we know in the denominator side it should be nearer to the directrix denominator side should be nearer to the directrix and the numerator value should be nearer to the focus just opposite to the ellipse what we have taken already okay so three part we need to sorry two part we need to take it for first and the remaining the numerator part three part will be near to the focus so this is the point so we can take our compass and before that we need to mark the 90 degree on v as what we did earlier only thing is the eccentricity changes remaining all the things are same okay so we got it now we are going to draw the line so we draw the line now take the compass and measure this we need to measure this value take a mark here and again take a mark on both sides okay so already we know this just keep being, say, starting from this corner c and then through this point through this point we can draw the line 
and here also through this point you can draw the line like this okay and I already told to draw the mean my mean in between points so one two so this is very easy already we have divided this on this f also actually up to this f itself it is enough if you require more means also you can draw it also you can draw it like this now as usual actually in ellipse what we did we used to draw a 45 degree incline line here and then we have to find out the another end point another vertex point so that we need to complete the ellipse but here it is not like that here it is a hyperbola it will be going on diverging you won't end at any way so now as usual what we did earlier we have to measure this and keeping f as the center and we need to mark where we measured the line which line you measured that line we need to cut it make an arc so that is very important here now now next I am going to measure this length my compass is very tight so it will be very accurate for me it won't change at any time so I measured this line and now I am keeping F as the center and which line I measured I am just going to cut it okay and now next so I am measuring this and F as the center I am just going to cut it here and also this point okay and then actually F we measure it and we will be cutting it here so both the area will be same next you are going to measure this and you are going to cut it here and also here okay so now I am just going to draw the rough line so which are the lines this is first curve okay I am just going to join these two and next this next this this it will be going on diverging like this I am just drawn a thin line okay so first we can draw a thin line after that we can darken it so for our reference for this video i am just marking it with black color sketch look at here this like you have to darken and it has to over draw or write but it must coincide both the lines should be in a single line it should not be a double line that's why I am saying. Next, I am going to give the names. Already we have named in the ellipse. This is as E and this is as E dash. And already we have named this as P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash and P4 dash. And this is P1, P2, P3, P4 okay the dimensions how the dimensions we are going to make it so that is already we know it this one this will not be visible for you so i am just drawing it here so this is 50 okay next now we are going to draw, draw that tangent normal now i am going to fix any one of the point on the curve just i am going to pick this point okay this point this is as p okay now i am going to join these two points to f to the p and to the f just i am joining a straight line this straight line now keep it like this i am just going to draw from the f to the line p a 90 degree line okay up 
to this directrix. This point I can name it as G. Why I name it as G? It is tangent TG. So it will be easy to name. Okay. Now I am going to draw. So this will be the tangent for it. This will be the tangent. And the normal point will be just keep your protractor here. Keep your protractor here 90 degree. Now you can mark it. So this is normal and this same line I can also mark with the sketch. This has to be darkened so that I am just reminding you. This has to be darkened, I am just reminding you and for you when you are going to write your exam or assignment you no need to mark with a sketch color. Okay. Just to darken with your pencil that itself it is enough. We can give the names. So this is T, T, G and this is N and this is M. Okay, this is the tangent and normal. Now we are going to give the name. What are the name? This is hyperbola. So in a double line, just mark it like this. And another one double line also I am just making it. So here this is. Hyperbola and here all. in millimeter all dimensions are in millimeter so this is the proper procedure to draw a hyperbola so before that we need to identify which one is hyperbola or which one is ellipse or which one is parabola so that that should be very clear 